Today we're going to show you how to mix the no knead whole wheat sourdough bread. I have a cup and a half of water here and I'm going to measure a cup and a fourth of the sourdough starter into it. Um, this sourdough starter was fed twice yesterday and the last time it was fed was just before I went to bed last evening. I'm going to put a cup and a quarter of sourdough starter in. As you can see I'm actually adding it to my cup of water. I find it is easy to measure if I do that and my measuring cup will not be as sticky. So I'm going to dump it into the whole wheat flour I have here. This is white whole wheat flour which is made from hard white spring wheat. I'm also going to add my vital wheat glue into my mix and then I'm going to take my whisk and I'm just going to mix this together. All I want to do is mix it to the starter water and flour is combined into a rough shaggy dough. It just takes a minute or two just to mix this back and forth. As you can see it's not going to be smooth, it's just going to be rough and just mixed so that the flour and the water and the starter are just so combined. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this set for 20 minutes. That gives the t uh, time for the, fl the flour to soak up the water. And I'm also going to add the salt to it in about 20 minutes. As you can see, the dough is just kind of a rough dough. It's not real stiff. It's a soft dough. And we're going to let it set here to absorb the moisture and then we're going to add salt and do stretches and folds. Okay, now we're going to add the salt. We're going to sprinkle the salt around the top and we're going to do a set of stretches and folds. As you can see, this dough is soft. It has soaked up the flour, uh, the, the moisture out of the, and has, it is a softer, as you can see, a much softer dough than what it had been. You can see it's getting more smooth. We're going to let it set now for another hour and then we're going to do another set of stretch and folds. Okay, we're going to do the second set of stretch and folds. You can see how soft this is, a little bit sticky. Um, but yeah, you just want to stretch it like this, bring it back around. Um, as you can see, the dough is turning into a smooth, silky uh, dough ball, as you can see. Now this is after the second set of stretch and fold. We're going to do at least one more. Okay, we're going to do our last set of stretch and folds. You can see the dough is very elastic. Uh, as you can see, it stretches. It's soft. It's full of bubbles. As you can see, it's a very soft, smooth dough now. So now I'm going to let it rest for about um, a, a while till I can bake it. I'm probably I'm going to bake this loaf after a seven-hour ferment. Okay, we're now ready to shape the loaf. I'm going to dust my uh, board with just a little bit of oat flour, and then we're going to do some shaping here. We're going to take our sides and fold them in. side and fold in. We're just going to tuck our edges together. As you can see, we still have plenty of bubbles in our starter and we don't want to lose those. We're going to take this loaf and we're going to put it on our paper. Now my loaf is very soft. And this is what it's going to look like when we have it on our paper. I'm going to dust the top and I'm going to make some cuts in it as you can see. Now my baker is in the oven. I'm actually going to just lift my loaf up by the paper and carry it over to my baker. My baker is hot and in the oven 
and it's ready to bake with. Okay. So it's in the oven and we're going to put the lid on and it's going to be ready to bake now. Okay, we're going to take the lid off and we want to see what our loaf looks now, like now. What do you think? Look how nice it has risen. Now we're going to reduce the heat to 350 and set the timer for another 12 minutes. Okay, our loaf is ready to come out of the oven. I'm actually going to just take it right out of this. The baker. And just look. Look at the loaf we have. 